Deforestation is a big problem throughout the whole world and is one of the main concerns in the Amazon basin. In many parts of the world, there are companies that are cutting down trees to build buildings that are not necessary. They may think that when they are doing it, they have good intentions for the people, but what they do not realize is that they are killing the earth one tree at a time. Everyone thinks that malls and new stores are so great, but don't they also like breathing? All these trees are getting destroyed, and they are one of our main suppliers of oxygen. Not only do they give us air, but they also give air to the animals that live around the Amazon basin and go through the whole cycle that keeps the area intact. There are many different types of farming performed in the Amazon basin, and yes, farming is a big deal and does make a lot of money, but it should be done in areas that are open and do not have to be made into areas that are open. The first type of farming is pastoral farming, which is when all these trees are getting cut down and farmers are using this other method called slash and burn, which is when they burn the land to make fresh soil to grow crops. Growing the crops may sound like a good thing, but the environment is suffering big time. Pastoral farming is the leading cause of deforestation in the Amazon and has accounted for about 38% of deforestation that occurred between 1966 and 1975. Today, about 80% of the beef produced in pastoral farming in Brazil is used for export. Another type of farming is subsistent agriculture, which is a method of crop production where farmers only produce enough food to feed the family. Mainly, mainly poor farmers that settle in forest land do the practice of subsistent agriculture. The government encourages these families to settle on the land and earn ownership after five years of agricultural practice. This is also a method that involves the slash and burn, and not only is that bad for the environment, but it can also lead to serious problems such as forest fires, which in turn is another form of deforestation. To go along with subsistent farming, you have commercial agriculture and sediment, which is the production of food crops for export. Brazil is known worldwide in the global market for the production of food crops for export. It is currently the world's second largest producer of soybean. High soybean prices have led to increase in the amount of forest land used for commercial crop cultivation. The effect of soybean crop cultivation damage extends past the actual deforestation itself. It allows exploitation of more forest land by slash and burn method and pra practiced by subsistent agricultural farmers and creates room for the creation of more highways. As one can see, farming is a big deal when it comes to deforestation and we as humans are the only ones who can prevent further damage caused in the Amazon basin. The major corporate behind deforestation in the Amazon Basin is the Madonna Corporation. Madonna is the largest fast food company in the world. The company that made the Golden Arches famous success is also just as infamous for what it has done. Madonna is very famous for its fast food, such as chicken, beef, and pork. The food that Madonna is feeding to our animal population is very bad because they plant the soya in the heart of the Amazon. Madonna is cutting off trees in order to plant the soya to feed the animals. So the unstoppable expansion of soya farming in the Amazon had become one of the main threats to the world's largest rainforest. The other main reason for the deforestation is because of the soya farm farmers are accused of slavery and the invasions of indigenous people's land. The beef production of the Madonna is also a driving point of the deforestation because what the cows are eating are the grass that are killing the trees in Amazon. Also, McDonald's partner Cargill and McDonald and other companies were accused to be involved for the deforestation, land grabbing, slavery, and violence act. Therefore, we need to stop eating McDonald's and ask your friends not to eat at McDonald's also. Also, eat less meat and educate yourself about the rain rainforest. In order Ancient to forests people. maintain the balance of life on Earth. They house around two-thirds of the world's land-based species of plants and animals. The remaining tracts of forests influence day-to-day -day weather, but also help to keep the climate stable over time. Tropical forests cover only 7% of the world's land surface, but they store vast amounts of carbon. 
Logging and burning releases that carbon into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change. Tropical deforestation accounts for an astounding 20% of worldwide greenhouse gas emissions. That's more than all of the aeroplanes, cars and trains put together. And deforestation of the Amazon has turned Brazil into the world's fourth largest climate polluter. Since 1999, Greenpeace has been working in the heart of the Amazon to investigate and expose the threats to this forest and to come up with solutions that will stop deforestation. Cattle ranching has always been and remains one of the major drivers of deforestation. But in 2003, Greenpeace began to perceive a new threat, soya plantations. Europe's appetite for cheap protein, and in particular for low-cost chicken feed to supply supermarkets and fast food restaurants, was driving a massive expansion of agricultural lands deep into the Amazon forest. Greenpeace began to document how vast tracts of the Amazon were being burned and bulldozed, quite literally for chicken feed. With the controversial construction of this soya export facility in Santarém, Greenpeace began working with the local community and Brazilian organisations on the ground to expose the destruction and stop further expansion, and we began a three-year investigation to find out who was responsible. In April 2006, Greenpeace released the results in a report called Eating Up the Amazon, which tracked soy from illegal deforestation directly into the feed supplies of a handful of supermarkets and fast food corporations. We began a campaign to rally consumers to demand change and put an uncomfortable spotlight on some of the world's biggest brands. To their credit, McDonald's was one of the first to respond and along with other corporate soya consumers joined with Greenpeace in bringing the major soya traders in Brazil to the negotiating table. The conclusion was a moratorium on the purchase of soya from newly deforested areas in the Amazon and agreements to improve tracking of soya to avoid destructive purchasing. Continuing engagement from Greenpeace, other NGOs and brands like McDonald's, Carrefour, Walmart, Sainsbury's and Marks and Spencer have kept the moratorium in place and ensures the soya sector remembers that its customers want to contribute to solutions, not deforestation. The moratorium has been a huge step on the road to safeguarding the Amazon. Until permanent forest protection measures are put in place, it's a model that we need to see replicated across the planet. It's a Greenpeace Solutions success story, one which demonstrates that with the right combination of public awareness, consumer pressure and action, not words, we can protect our forests, we can save our planet and we can stop runaway climate change. Animals and plants to suffer under dreadful living places. Is it worthy to sacrifice our nature in order to enhance the productions of human business? The prime cause of rainforest destruction today is originated from um, human activities. The well-developed environment has increased humans' desire on developing technology along with economy. The wealth economy has grown up the um, dissatisfactions from humans and urge factories. Governments as well as the developers to encourage um, settlements by destroying forests forest in, in improper ways. Therefore, vast areas of Amazon rainforest have grown and the irreversible consequences have been taking place. The Amazon rainforest once covered 40%, uh, 14 percent of the Earth's land surface. Now they only cover mere 6 percent and biologists uh, predict that it can only, only consume in less than 40 years. On the other hand, Amazon rainforest plays an important role in our society. Amazon rainforest covers about 40% um, of the South America continent and includes eight, um, eight South American con uh, countries. Between May 2000 and August 2005, Brazil lost um, more, more than 132,000 square kilometers of rainforest, which is an area larger than Greece. Since 1970, over 600,000 square kilometers of Amazon rainforest have been destroyed. 
to say that there are no regional or even global effects of deforestation, especially deforestation in the Amazon basin would be ludicrous at a bare minimum. Heresy and blasphemy are much more appropriate words to use to describe how much of an effect this act of de deforestation has taken in a negative way. But why has it taken so much of an effect currently? Well, let's start with the basics. Over the last 20 years, roughly 385,000 square kilometers, or 148,649 and a third square miles of the Amazon basin just in Brazil has been marred, stripped bare of trees. When comparing that to known land sizes, it is slightly larger than the entire area of the state of Montana. Think about how, lar how large of an area that is. As it is, Montana is one of the five largest states in the entire United States. To think of the, that an area of, that, of land that large has been so destroyed, let alone in 20 years, is insane. But let us look at the effects. On a regional scale, it is a fairly concerning issue. We are witnessing the destabilization of the local ecosystems in the Amazon basin because it is all based around the trees in the Amazon rainforest. Scores of animals live in the trees while many others rely on trees as a source of food or a resting place. Without these trees, animals' lives are being affected, which causes a chain reaction up and down the ecosystem. Even the shrubs nearby are affected since animals' behavior patterns are being altered by the trees being cut down. No doubt about it. As a result, we can expect to hear of the saddest thing to happen on this earth. When one thinks of extinction, oftentimes dinosaurs come to mind. Why? It is simple. They are the most well-known story of extinction that is publicly talked about. Yet daily, species that aren't really known to the public go extinct in the rainforest. Take this quote from Save the Rainforest. By conservative estimates, 9,000 species are going extinct each year, most of them from the rainforest. If we knock off, say, 1,000 species, from the amount per year that go extinct and say these are not the result of deforestation. There are still 8,000 or so species that do die off yearly as a result of Brazilian deforestation. When we see what happens daily, we lose almost 22 species per day in the rainforest. That is an astounding rate, almost one species per hour. That's depressing to think about, is it not? However, when we branch out to the global view, the numbers become truly significant. Each tree cleans enough air for two humans to breathe to, cl to breathe clean oxygen. Again, according to Save the Planet, a hectare, which is 2.471 acres or so, of rainforest absorbs one ton of carbon dioxide per year. Since the conversion ratio of hectares to square kilometers is 1 to 1, the last 20 years of deforesting the Amazon basin has resulted in an overall loss of scrubbing 385,000 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere yearly with no stop in sight of that number growing as we move into the future. If the rate continues to stay even moderately close, that is. Carbon dioxide is harmful for human health. If enough of it is stored in the lungs over a short period of time, it can lead to death from asphyxiation. Carbon dioxide is also a huge contributor to global warming. We hear daily about how the polar caps are melting at a high rate due to greenhouse gases, of which carbon dioxide is one of these gases. Many think that cutting emissions will help slow and eventually reverse the trend because the results of the ice caps finally melting could end civilization as we know it. However, another solution would be to stop deforestation in the Amazon and to replant trees where there are none left thanks to 20 plus years of deforestation. This would help to uh, the planet if these actions and measures were taken and put in place. Without a doubt, global warming is as much a result of, if not more, of the effects of Amazon deforestation than any other single cause. The Amazon Basin is a beautiful place to visit and should be forever protected for those in future generations to see and appreciate. However, losing 385,000 square kilometers to deforestation by loggers and farmers is not how to protect these hollow trees or the inhabitants that thrive, thrive within the forest itself. We need to take better care and preventative measures for the Amazon basis because life without it will certainly be much worse than with what we have left of it now.